Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout today. Uh, today I am focusing on the core, so it's going to be all about strengthening and burning fat from the abs, obliques, and back area, so everything's nice, tight, and toned. So the very first exercise I'm doing is a mountain climber, and I have my interval timer set for 45 seconds, so here we go. Can I call you Catwoman? <laughs> sure. So you want to drive your feet toward your chest, start in plank position, try and keep your hands below your shoulders. They're going to move a little bit probably while you do this, but that's okay. And then you just want to keep moving the entire time. Keep your core pulled in tight and keep breathing. Fifteen seconds left. Five seconds. Okay. The next exercise. Hope I just restarted it. It's <laughs> twisting sumo squat. Okay. Okay. Per the twisting sumo squat, you're going to go into a regular squat. So feet are slightly more than a hip distance apart. Toes can point out just a little bit. You're going to reach your back, your butt backwards toward the wall behind you. Hands can come up behind your head. So squat down. And then when you come up, instead of the normal sumo squat, we're going to twist. So we're going to squat and cross over with our elbow. That's one. Two. Three, butt reaches backwards. Four, go to parallel. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure you breathe. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, two more, 19, 20. Next exercise. Side plank leg lift. Okay. For this one, I really am surrounded by cats today. You're going to come into your side plank. You could do this on an extended arm like this. Or you can go on your forearm. Either way is totally fine. I'm going to go on my extended arm. And you're going to lift your top leg. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pull your abs in, nine, ten, halfway done, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Other side. This felt pretty tough for me today. He's working hard. <laughs> he is. He's working his core, can't you tell? Okay, right leg lifts this time. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, oh, I'm falling, eight, True fall on that nine, cat. that'd be horrible, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, Next exercise. Mountain jumper. Okay, so for this one, it's kind of a mix between a frogger and a mountain climber. And I am going to move my cat. There you go. He doesn't even mind at all. There you go. Uh, oh, he's purring. <laughs> okay. So you're going to go into your plank position. And then I'm going to jump toward my right and toward my left. One at a time. So plank position. Core pulls in. Both feet jump to the left and back. That's one. 
right and back, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, Booty. twelve, thirteen, Three. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Two more. Nineteen. Last one. Twenty. Next exercise. Flutter abs. Okay, so this is a mix between heel tap abs and the Pilates 300, so you'll see why I call it flutter abs. What you're gonna do is lay on the mat, back is touching the floor, you're comfortably positioned, you're gonna lift your chest, reach your fingers toward your feet, and during the entire movement, we're gonna pump our hands up and down. At the same time, we're gonna tap our heels together, keeping our body in this line. We're going to do it for 45 seconds, so here we go. So, my heels are tapping, my arms are moving, core is pulled tight, and I keep fluttering away the entire time. I also kind of feel like a seal <laughs> swimming or something. <laughs> Just keep yourself lifted if you can. Try not to stop moving. Thighs should be pressing in tight toward each other with each heel tap. Shoulders stay relaxed. Fingers keep pumping. Keep breathing. Okay, relax. Next exercise is... After flutter abs, you have... Stability ball back bend sit up. <clears throat> okay. Oh my. So for this exercise, <clears throat> I'm using my stability ball and I'm going to sit on it. <laughs> my butt and hips are kind of in the middle so that I can reach backwards, touch my hands to the ground, slightly lift up into a back bend. If you can't lift up that high, it's okay. Just lift where you can and then sit up. Reach forward. Core stays tight. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and I'm lifting high enough that the ball's kind of moving on me. Oop. Ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And if you're not comfortable with the back bend, you could just reach and tap and come back up. Seventeen, <clears throat> eighteen. 19, 20. Next exercise. Table pose kick. Okay. Oh. I got fancy with the camera there. Did you? Yeah. Cool. Turned it sideways. Have to wait and see. A little. A little. Yeah, because I'm edgy like that. So everyone will be dizzy. 
<laughs> Everyone will see, wow, they're so edgy. Okay, so for this one you're going to go into table pose, like in yoga. So you can start sitting, hands beneath your butt cheeks, back nice and straight, feet flat. And what you're going to do is you're going to plant your hands and roll up onto your heels so your body comes into the table position. And you can look forward or drop your head back, whatever's comfortable for you. I like to look forward. Core pulls in, butt stays lifted, and we're going to kick right and left. That's one. Right and left. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Don't let your butt droop down. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Only two more. Hips keep pressing. Nineteen. 20. Next exercise. Twisting starfish sit up. Okay. Move my mat out for this one a little bit. For this one, you get to lay on your back, arms and feet out. So your body should be making a star position like a starfish. And what you're going to do is you're going to sit up and twist. So I'm going to reach my right hand toward my left foot. So I'm going to sit up, twist. This arm reaches behind me, this arm reaches toward my toe, and go back down, that's one. Up, twist and reach, down, that's two. Down, that's three, and when I come down, I'm rolling down one vertebrae at a time. So, low back, to upper spine, to head, that was four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen, sixteen, and even when I come up, I make sure my low back is the last thing to leave the mat. Seventeen, eighteen, first thing down, last thing up. Nineteen, one more. Funny. Next exercise. Three part abs. Okay, so we're already at the end of the first round. So this is the last exercise, right? Yeah. Okay. I, I <laughs> oh added God, special effects there. <laughs> okay, so for this one, you're going to stay laying on your back. Shoulder blades and shoulders are going to lift. Your shoulders stay relaxed. Do not let them reach up into your ears. Relax them down so your shoulder blades are pressing into your back. Arms stretch. We're going to reach our feet out, lift, open, reach through, bring them together, hip lift. That's one. That's three parts. So bring it down. You go up, open and through. That's two. Up. That was two reps. Up, open, through, hip lift. That's three. Four. Keep breathing. Five. Control your movements. Don't use too much momentum. Six. Seven. Eight. 
eight. Nine. Ten, halfway done. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen, five more. Sixteen. Seventeen, three more. Eighteen. Nineteen, I'm on the last one. stretch. <laughs> okay guys, that's it. That's one whole round. The breakdown will be on my blog, benderfitness.com. So I hope to see you there. And I posted a really delicious recipe for a low calorie pumpkin spice latte. Um, so check that out, benderfitness.com, along with over 200 other free workouts, recipes, and tips for healthy living. So have a great night. And I will see you next time.